Hi everyone, this is Kylene Dibble with Parents for Public Schools of Pitt County, and we are continuing our Spring 2021 School Tour Series in the virtual world. Um, we are here today at Aiden Grifton High School, which is such a great school in our county, and I'm so excited to be able to share it with you today. We're going to start out with Dr. Caton and allow her to just give you a welcome to her wonderful space. So welcome to Aiden Grifton High School. I'm very excited that you're able to join us virtually. I'm sad you're not able to come see how wonderful our school is, but um, hopefully this video is able to give you a little bit of a piece of information about what we do and how great we are at Aiden Grifton. Excellent. Um, Dr. Caton, before we start our tour, I wanna to ask you a few questions that parents typically have uh, during school tours. Can you tell us the size of your school and then also maybe about how many students are in each classroom? Okay, so we are the smallest of the six traditional high schools in Pitt County. Uh, we have 573 students currently on our uh, and in our building. Um, so our our class sizes are very small. We don't have many. Uh, our largest class size is about 22. So it's very, very nice. Um, so that we have, because we're so small, uh, we know our kids. Uh, we're able to give that one-on-one -on -one, um, devotion of time to our students and you know, counseling and things like that, which is really great. Um, and many of our teachers are, you know, they live around this area, so they know the families. Um, so we have that small town community connection, um, which is very nice for our students. That sounds really great. Um, and I know that students really enjoy the experience there at Aiden Grifton High School. Can you talk to us a little bit about um, some of the Encore type classes that you have and some of the CTEs, as well as extracurricular activities that you offer there at Aiden Grifton? Okay, sure. So we're actually going to see some of them today. Of course, we have um, our health sciences class, uh, we have STEM, uh, we have Python, we have entrepreneurship. We have culinary, uh, we have uh, foods, we have um, principles of family and consumer sciences, we have welding, uh, we have carpentry, we have uh, automotive, um, of course we have yearbook, uh, we also have media assistance, um, I know I'm leaving out because there's so many things we have available, uh, we have of course uh, we're very known for our quiz bowl team, we have lots of different um, clubs and things at our school for our students from link crew, um, you name it, Bible club, we have, we have lots of, we have just as much as what your larger schools have, except we're just as not as big, which is fine, because like I said, it gives us an opportunity to really get to know our students. It really does sound like each student is treated as an individual there at Aiden Grifton. Um, talk to us a little bit, lots of families watching might just be switching from middle school to high school, and I think there's some communication differences that happen as they get older and move on to the high school. Talk to us about how your school communicates with families as a whole and also on the teacher level. Okay, so we have many different avenues that we use at the high school. Um, first of all, Facebook. I know some people don't use Facebook, but we do post on Facebook probably two to three times a day. Um, so we celebrate our students. We post pictures of our kids. Um, students have may have gotten scholarships or any big announcements or reminders of things that are going up. So Facebook is really big for us. Um, also on Sundays, I do a call home. I also send all parents an email on Sunday and also follow that up with text messages as well um, on Sunday. We also have something through Canvas called a Charger One Stop. Um, and that is a direct links to my email address, to my Twitter, and also to our daily announcements. So parents could at any time go on our website, which links to our Charger One Stop, and they can get any information of our ongoing announcements on um, that as well. So we wanna make sure that our parents know exactly what's going on. Uh, we mail home a lot of correspondence as well, because we, we feel that you know, parents being involved and being in the know of everything is very important for us. So that's how we go about, uh, you know, for me, if, if you don't know what's going on, you know, you need to let us know because we are making every attempt to make sure you know what's going on at Aiden Grifton. So parents, there are so many ways for you to get information from your school. Um, and Ms. Caton, or Dr. Caton, you just mentioned uh, parent involvement. And so I want you to talk to us just a little bit about opportunities for parents to engage at your school, of course, in a typical school year, which we're all hoping is going to happen again when COVID is all over. Right. 
So for us, we do not really, uh, we try to establish um, a PTO. Um, we call it a uh, charger club, but we, I mean, char excuse me, charger, I can't, I'm sorry, because we have two things. And this is like recording right now, but I apologize. Uh, but uh, our PTO is very small. We don't have maybe but one parent. So we're always looking for um, parents to get involved. We also have an academic, I mean, an athletic boosters club that meets regularly. They are very involved with our school. So if you have an athlete, you know, you can always get involved with that. And we have a very involved band booster, parent band booster club as well. So that you, if you're a child, is in the band they can be involved in that as well and parents if you've watched any other videos with me you know that my biggest plug is that you as a parent need to reach out at the beginning of the school year and establish relationship with your teachers your administrators and that makes staying engaged throughout that school year so much easier when you make that relationship right from the start Right, just because your child is no longer in k-8 doesn't mean that you're not to be involved because we need you in high school as well absolutely well, thank you for talking with us, Dr. Caton. I think we're going to come back to you at the end, but you have a ton of staff who are yeah. ready to show us their spaces. So I believe we are going to go first to Ms. Ewing with Student Services. Hi, Ms. Ewing. Tell us all about your space and what you do there at Aiden Grifton. Hey guys, so I'm Miss Ewing. I'm one of two counselors at Aiden Grifton High School. Mr. Lincoln and I absolutely love our job combined. He and I have well over 60 years of experience and we are still going strong because we love our students. Dr. Caden mentioned earlier that we are a family here. We absolutely are. These are my these are my babies that are out here and Mr. Lincoln would say the same. Aiden Grifton High School Student Services strives to offer wraparound services because we we want to encompass the whole child. Counselors begin getting to know our students while they're eighth graders. So at the end of the year in eighth grade, we are already meeting with them individually for the registration process. We continue meeting with them individually at least twice a year during their four years here. We teach classes several times a year, so they also see us in their classrooms. We know them quite well by the time that we are writing letters of recommendation and suggesting colleges and universities their junior year. We also host five family nights during the course of the year where we invite families to come learn more. We have a panel of experts to talk about careers and also colleges, universities, money for college. So we love getting to know the full family. Like I said, we wanna wrap around the entire family and the whole child. We offer services in resume writing, applications, essay writing. We offer one-on-one -on -one counseling services for academic, for social, emotional, developmental situations. We also offer college and career advising and planning, and we just cannot wait to meet you guys. Thank you so much for letting me talk. Thank you for sharing all of those wonderful opportunities. I loved hearing about those five family nights, just another opportunity for parents to get connected there at Aiden Grifton. Um, I think we are moving now to one of my favorite spaces in every school, the Media Center with Ms. Smith. Ms. Smith, tell us who you are and all about your space. Hi, I'm Kathy Smith, the librarian here at Aiden Grifton, and this is Mr. James, our media clerk, and we're going to begin um, our little segment with a tour of the library layout. Let me flip our camera. Okay, over to the left side of the library, we have our computer lab. We have 28 computers for small groups, individual students, or whole class work. Our nonfiction collection is over in the left corner. We have a huge manga graphic novel section. That's our most um, popular section of books. Our fiction books are over on the right side, the media offices to the right. Upstairs, we have our online classes with Ms. Tripp. We also have a makerspace collection, a makerspace area where you can work with Mindstorm Legos, 3D printing, virtual goggles. We also have coding equipment. And you might have just noticed that we have a photographer set up in the middle of our library today. They're taking senior portraits of cap and gown pictures. Um, we do yearbook classes in the library. Um, if you were a, a yearbook member, we begin the semester by determining our theme and our cover design. We cover all the games and the important events. We design our pages, of course, and we take hundreds and hundreds of photos. 
we talk to staff members and students and um, community members. We interview them. It's a lot of fun. It gets you out of your comfort zone and you really get a, a good sense of working with your community and representing your students, uh, classmates. If you serve as a media helper, you would man the circulation desk. You would have a shelf to keep clean and straight each day. You would help us maintain our facility. You might work with some tech issues. And we also promote our, um, promote our collection and our new materials with contests and different um, advertisements. And that's a little bit about our library. We hope to see you here next year. Thank you. Ms. Smith, I would say that is more than a little bit about your library. I loved hearing about everything that you have to offer there. And it's obvious that students can really have such a rich experience in that space at Aiden Grifton. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you. We are gonna move now to another unique class. Um, we're gonna go to the welding class with Mr. Carnes. Hello, my name is Parker Carnes. I'm the welding instructor here at Aiden Grifton. Um, we are a accredited class through Pitt Community College. Um, in here, we do multiple processes and I'll kind of walk you through it. We do uh, anywhere from cutting torch to MIG welding, to stick welding, to TIG welding. Um, these guys are working on projects right now. Guys, oh, 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 we're here. Okay, so this guy's cutting plate out for a, a weld test to start. He's already passed two weld tests. Um, we do a lot of a lot of stuff in here, a lot of hands-on work. We don't do too much book work. Um, in here is a more hands-on learning experience to, to everybody else. It's kind of hard to learn how to weld out a book. You can see a student in here stick welding right here. Um, like I say, everybody kind of enjoys it. We, we fabricate stuff. This is my, my main man, Jose, right here. He's about to do a little bit of work. Um, but we, we try and do little projects to kind of get get people into it or class. Um, I'll step outside to get a little bit wider. So we do a lot of uh, small projects for students. Um, they allow them to work on, you know, with their hands and build stuff and kind of use their creative minds. Um, they're also allowed to... Uh, build stuff for their mom and dad or their boyfriend or girlfriend. Uh, this isn't a men's only um, field. We do have one lady. She's in that back corner right there. Miss Sadaria, she's one of my best welders this semester. Um, there she is stepping out right there. Um, so like I say, it's not just one field. It's a, it's a multi-gender multi field. Anybody can come and learn how to weld. Just got to have a little bit of worth ethic and pride. Thank you so much for sharing that space with us, Mr. Carnes. I yes, think when a lot of parents think about uh, going to or sending their students to high school, these are some of the opportunities that we don't think of firsthand. And it's great to know that these types of experiences are available for students. So thank you for sharing that. Yes, I believe we are moving yeah. now to Ms. Everett in an English class. I think you're muted, Ms. Everett. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Dawn Everett and I'm the English department chair and I've taught here in Grifton for 28 years, which is crazy when I think about it. My class was just talking about a poem because I could not stop for death by Emily Dickinson and they, they were amazed that I knew it. And the only reason I knew it is because, you know, I've been teaching forever. So, um, but just a little bit about the English department at Aiden Grifton. We, um, hold on, here we go. So we're working with students from the time they walk in the door on day one on their communication skill. We focus on improving their reading skills, which means they're gonna read at higher reading levels when they leave here. They're gonna have more skills in analyzing literature. Um, we also work with students to make sure their writing mirrors their thinking and their problem solving skills, because we know that students who are better communicators, students who are better writers, they make more money. And we want to make sure that our students are prepared to be successful for whatever life after high school that they choose. We, um, in the upper levels, we work with students on their academic research skills and their academic writing skills because we want all of our students to be successful if they decide to go to college. And you know, every um, college, every career, you know, whether it is um, something that requires a four year or a multi year degree, or if it's something that requires a two year degree, they all are required to do research. 
And finally, we really work to encourage and promote academic discussions because we want our students to feel confident expressing their opinions and their ideas in an academic setting. And in a typical English class, I can promise you every single day, our students are going to read something, they're gonna write something, they're gonna talk about it, and they're gonna think. It sounds like your students have a rich experience uh, in that English department, like you said, from day one. Um, and I can only imagine how excited they get learning from you. Your passion is so obvious. Your love for uh, teaching is so obvious just in talking with us for a few minutes. So thank you so much for sharing your passion and your classroom with us. Thank you. I believe that we are moving now to Mr. Harris. Mr. Harris, introduce yourself and tell us what role you play there at Aiden Grifton High School. Hello everyone, I'm uh, Terry Harris and I'm the um, STEM teacher. Um, and I pretty much have, uh, I guess you're gonna say STEMs is uh, science, technology, engineering and math. And uh, we introduce the students to uh, that field as they generally begin working on different projects as it relates to an engineering field. Um, we go all the way from STEMS 1 to STEMS 3, where the, uh, the STEMS 3 class is, is them who are really trying to understand the career field as an engineer. Um, currently, right now, my students are working on um, uh, different projects right now as they I guess you can say build a actual prototype of a bus stop and they're working it. I'll show you. And in this class, they have to think about the dimensions. They have to think about um, the size, uh, make sure they meet the requirements that have been established um, according to our program that we use, which is through Paxton Patterson. Um, and they're learning um, that this career field can open doors for employment as they move further through their high school education. Thank you for sharing that with us, Mr. Harris, um, and especially for showing us your students in action and that classroom happening. Um, absolutely some great opportunities there for students who are interested in STEM. Um, so think about that as you're thinking about your high school experience for your high schooler. Uh, that STEM is absolutely an opportunity for them. And as Mr. Harris showed you, there's so many different components of that that they will learn from and find uh, really engaging. I think we are going to move now to Sergeant Moore, who has a pretty unique role to play there at Aiden Grifton High School. Talk to us about what you do. Good afternoon. I am Sergeant First Class Moore. I am the junior ROTC instructor here at Aiden Grifton High School. And it, it is unique. It's, uh, it's different from the class because it's a program. And here in the junior ROTC program, it's designed to teach character development and leadership development, which, which allows for the cadets to, to assume some sort of- What are you looking for? Some sort of structure in their life. And the structure, should, they should be able to transfer from classroom to classroom and subject to subject. And, and when, when I talk about this, the, the structure, uh, on Monday and Tuesday, we're academics, where we get into the, the, the levels of the junior ROTC, and there, there, there are three different levels, where well, there are actually four, but I, I'll cover three. The first one is, what you see in, in the rear is the introducing the junior ROTC program to the new students, and then they move to the leadership uh, development, where they learn leadership, character development, att attributes, and and components of leadership. And then the three is when they move to becoming the supervisor. Uh, and the supervisor should be that person that's out front like myself. Should be the, that person should be the one that when we go out to, to do community support and community service uh, activities, that cadet is out front. Uh, and, and then along, and so I covered Monday and Tuesday academic days. As you see to, to my rear, we have, a variety of uniforms that we wear on un on Wednesdays, which is uniform day, and their grooming standards that are that are associated with wearing the uniform. On Thursday, which is today, we would normally be doing drill and ceremony where the cadets learn to uh, execute movements and move in unison so they can move professionally from point A to point B. And then on Fridays, 
we do physical training. So we condition that mind. But all of that should create structure, which allows the cadet to grow through their high school days so that they're better prepared for what's next. Uh, and, and that's the junior ROTC program here. And I'm, I'm excited about what I have. And I've only been here a year, but I'm just excited about what I'm building here in the program. Your excitement is so obvious. And I can hear that those students are learning life skills that are translating into the classroom, out of the classroom, in the school, out of the school. What an amazing program. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you. I believe we are moving now to Mrs. Joyner. Mrs. Joyner, tell us who you are and what your role there is at Aiden Grifton High School. Hi, yes, I'm Ms. Joyner. So I am one of our easy teachers. Um, I teach our adaptive curriculum class. And so I'm here to tell you guys about Charger Brews. And so that is our school-based enterprise that our students on the adaptive curriculum run. So you can see us in the background, they're getting ready to make some coffee for one of our um, staff members. So we take the cart around um, about once or twice a week. And it's just a great way to teach our um, students those vocational skills that they need after high school because you know, it's so important to teach them, you know, um, how to use money, um, stocking shelves, um, following directions, and just teaching that independence they need for after high school. Um, it also just gets them out of the classroom, um, so they're well known around the school. Um, just a great way to include them um, throughout our community at Aiden Grifton, which is so wonderful, which um, just creates just such a great environment here. And so they love it. It's just a great motivation for them to learn some of those skills that they need after high school to make them successful. Thank you, Ms. Joyner. It is uh, great to hear about how Aiden Grifton High School is really valuing the uniqueness of every student and seeing all that they have to contribute to our community. Um, and I loved hearing you talk about how the community contributes to Aiden Grifton High School as well, and that it's a true partnership um, between the community and the school. Oh yes, thank you. Thank you. We are going to move now to Mrs. Hale, and she's gonna talk to us a bit about art. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Miss Hale, and I'm the visual arts teacher here at Aiden Grifton High School. I actually just started here in October, so I haven't been a part of the family very long, but it's been a great experience so far, and I can't wait to look forward to what you guys will hopefully be creating if you take my class. But before I talk about myself, I'm representing the arts department, and so I wanted to highlight some of the other departments first, other classes. So we have Mr. Blackman, who is the band director, and with Mr. Blackman, his classes are orchestra, concert band, marching band, music appreciation, and chorus. And so we'd love to have you be a part of our band or chorus or orchestra if that's something that you're interested in. I do want to highlight that he has recently um, ordered some new drum covers. And so our drums are looking really nice and clean with a nice bright Aiden Griffin green on there. So I hope that you guys will be a part of that. Next, we have Miss Hunter in theater. And she is awesome. She's also new to the school this year as well. And we actually have a musical coming up. We have High School Musical um that we're going to be putting on and if you're interested in that our auditions will be in may and the performance will be in september next i will now share about myself i'm the visual arts teacher as i mentioned before and we have four levels of art here we have um, foundations intermediate proficient and advanced and so i'm going to flip my screen around and show you guys my foundations class they're working really hard right now to get called up some of them working on sketchbooks, some of them working on perspective drawings, working with different materials like oil pastels, and some have been painting recently. I do want to say that we are lucky enough to have a kiln here at Aiden Griffin, so we are going to be doing some pottery really soon with this class, and we've also purchased an electric wheel, and we also have kick wheels. So if you're interested in doing pottery, that's something we'll be doing really soon. And I do want to step out in the hallway really quickly to show you some of the artwork that has been completed so far by some of our in-person students. We studied um, Black history and some African-American artists. We did some um, color schemes and then also silhouettes, paintings, oil pastels, and things like that. So that's what we have going on here 
in the arts department at Aiden Griffin, and I hope that you guys will be interested in taking a class with us. Thank you, Ms. Hale, for showing us so many opportunities that are available for students should they end up at Aiden Griffin High School. Um, it sounds like just some really, really exciting opportunities and a real variety of things to get involved with. Um, I believe now we are moving on to Coach Skinner, who is the athletic director at Aiden Grifton High School. Hello, everyone. Uh, like she said, I'm Coach Skinner. I'm the athletic director here at Aiden Grifton High School. Um, a lot of cool things we have going on here. I'll kind of list some of the different athletic opportunities we have and some of the sports we have. Uh, kind of we have the three sports seasons like, you know, most schools do. We start in the fall with girls tennis, football and JV football, cheerleading, volleyball and JV volleyball. We do have co-ed soccer. Our boys and girls soccer is combined in the fall as well as boys and girls cross country in the fall. That's probably our biggest sports season when we have the most athletes. In the winter, we have wrestling, which is also co-ed. We do offer boys and girls wrestling, boys basketball, girls basketball, JV basketball, and again, another cheerleading. And our cheerleading is co-ed as well. We do have some male cheerleaders uh, from time to time. And then moving to our last sports season, the spring, uh, which is when it gets a little warmer, we get to be outside. We have softball and baseball. We do offer JV baseball as well, as well as men's and women's track. Uh, boys tennis is in the spring and men's and women's golf. Uh, just a couple of cool things about our athletic program. We are one of the only schools in the country that actually offer free letter jackets for our junior lettermen. They look like this. Uh, so we're, we are in a unique program. We have a community foundation that uh, fundraises and any junior letterman in our school gets a free letter jacket. And so that's a really cool opportunity that we offer our students. Uh, we do have an Adidas contract uh, with Adidas that kind of helps uh, um, supply our athletes with a lot of cool gear and uniforms and things like that. And probably the other unique thing, and it kind of goes back to what Dr. Caden said about the small community feel and, and the smaller class sizes and things like that. Most of our programs are no cut programs, uh, meaning if a student is in good standing and come they try out and they participate in a sport regardless of their skill level they are kept on that team uh, so we find that to be a very unique opportunity and we, we really enjoy offering that to our students it's always a really cool thing at the end of the year to see how well our students athletes do academically uh, we pride ourselves on that on kind of having the whole student uh, be successful athletically and academically and we uh, have a lot of opportunities for you to participate in athletics should you choose Aiden Grifton and uh, please do we have a very you know kind of historical athletic program over the years and we hope to continue that for years to come Thank you, Coach Skinner. Uh, I loved hearing all about the ways that the community is supporting your athletics program. Um, I know that I learned a lot listening to you talk, and I know that parents out there did as well. Um, we are going to move back now to Dr. Caton. Dr. Caton, what a fantastic display of your school and your staff who are each so obviously passionate about what they do there. I wonder if you'd like to share anything else before we wrap up your tour. So um, I just wanted to, you know, highlight a couple of things that Coach Skinner said. He, you know, he talked about the Letterman jackets. That is very awesome. Our students will get those in May and they will wear them to school. And, you know, they're wool. And so May is very hot, but they're very proud of them. And it's really exciting to see that. I love that, to see that school spirit and the pride. Um, also, you know, another thing with our sports is that our students, they don't have to focus on just one season, one sport. Um, they have the opportunity to do, you know, football and then basketball basketball and then uh, baseball they don't have to just stick one women's sport which is why you know, being a small school they have those opportunities which is great um, and I will also say um, we have many staff members who graduated from high school here at Aiden Grifton or either their parents taught here as well um, so like I said it's really nice a family atmosphere um, like I said we know our kids um, I, you know, they're very there's not a time that a student walks down the hall that I don't know who they are which is really cool you know the students I'll say to them hey look I really need you to pull up that English grade they'll look at me and they're like I'm like you didn't think I knew that Did you? so that's really cool you know because we're small and it's, it's really nice that we know all of our students and you know one big thing here is that I, we push for our students as we say, you know, we're the chargers to always keep charging towards excellence. And that's our motto. And that's something we push our students towards. Thank you for taking time with us today, Dr. Caton. It's just so incredibly obvious that, um, that there's a family feel and a community feel there at Aiden Grifton High School. And parents, I think we all agree that we want our students to get the best education and the best learning but what we want more than anything is for our students to feel loved and cared about and like they are part of something. Um, and I get that feeling there at Aiden Grifton High School. Um, 
If you as a parent would like to discuss any further questions, I know that Dr. Caton would be more than happy to talk with you. You're also willing to reach out to Parents for Public Schools and we're happy to connect you to get those questions answered. Thank you again for sharing your school with us. Thank you to everyone there at Aiden Grifton High School. Everyone have a great day. Thank you.